What's up YouTube, it's M West here and today I'm going to talk to you about how I put together my GoPro Hero 6 with an external mic. I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, giving you guys reasons why you should use an external mic but kind of explain to you how I put it together. And the reason why I wanted to put it together was just in case, I just want to be ready. There's some outdoor activities that you can do where having just the normal uh, mic that comes on the GoPro Hero uh, won't cut it. It just won't sound good. For more for mo for most action scenes, it sounds really good, works really well. But for anything else where it is important to have some type of voiceover or capture some type of audio, um, you can use this type of setup to do just that. And so I just want to kind of walk you through several different pieces and items that I got to kind of make this happen. I won't show you 100% uh, how I put it together because um, there's some things that I can't take apart anymore, but I'll show you exactly what it is and what you need to get and then I'll list it in the description below. Uh, first of all, you want to get uh, the metal case, uh, which they have on Amazon for about $28.99. It's called a shoot metal case and what it is is just a metal case that you can put your GoPro uh, Hero 5 or Hero 6 in. Uh, you want to make sure that you get the one where the back can actually slide off of it. Uh, they have other ones where the back doesn't and then you, you you have to use this little side piece here to kind of hold your GoPro in place but what it does it uh, it leaves kind of an indentation on your GoPro so just be careful with that um, you don't want to mark up your GoPro or put any extra bumps or dents on it ahead of time so it'll leave a little mark right there and so I was able to avoid it because I noticed that uh, when you tighten that up to hold your GoPro um, it leaves that mark but anyway Moving right along, the next thing I got was a cheese plate for $15.99, a Cavemate camera cheese plate. And what this cheese plate does is the foundation where everything else is going to sit. And so as you can see, I have the metal case screwed onto the cheese plate from the bottom here. Um, the next thing that you're going to, that you want to look into is the Rode mic. Um, I got the Rode Video Micro Compact uh, microphone. This one was for $57.99, had really good reviews. Uh, it sits in the cold shoe mount that uh, will come with this particular case and you'll see pictures of it um, as well. And um, what did it do? It definitely enhance your audio if there's wind, um, if you uh, point it directly at someone, you'll pick up that person's voice and none of the other background noise. So you can even kind of narrow it, narrate and instruct people, oh, do this or do that. And it won't really ca catch your voice, but the person that you're aiming it at, it'll pick their voice up really clear. Um, the other thing that I picked up was the microphone adapter Ugh, yeah this uh, a lot of people say it's a it's bigger than they expected and it was smaller than I expected and the cool thing that I like about this even though um, you know it's it's bigger it's a bigger adapter than should necessarily go with this GoPro um, it's not that big and easy to attach to the cheese plate um, you can plug in your external microphone and then you have a spot to hook up that USB-C connection and charge your GoPro at the same time um, a couple other things that you want to pick up in case you don't have is you want to pick up like the adhesive velcro tape um, the instructions I saw online said to um, uh, connect the tape up with the vertical and horizontal horizontal lines going separate directions but every time I do that and try to disconnect this audio adapter from the cheese plate the whole thing would come apart it would lock on too hard so what I ended up doing was connecting it up this exact same way and just putting a zip tie around it to secure it just in case I don't plan on really removing um, this microphone adapter from this particular cheese plate. This setup is specific, specifically just so that I can pick up uh, additional audio. Um, the other thing that I got that I thought was pretty cool was the Wasabi uh, Wasabi Power Clutch. Um, it was twenty three ninety nine, and I also have it listed. And what this does is hook, it hooks up to the very bottom of this, right? And then um, it uh, has like. What is it? Um, 500 milliamps or 6,000 milliamps? I'll have the exact uh, amount of milliamps, but it'll charge your GoPro. So while you're holding it in this nice stable grip, you're able to charge your GoPro at the same time. So that means that you're going to get additional footage. You don't have to worry about taking the camera out of this cage and um, disassembling it and popping in a new battery because you're charging directly from this. So I'll go ahead and kind of put it together so you guys can see what it looks like all, to, all assembled. All right, so GoPro, GoPro goes directly in there. Push it until it's flush. You wanna push this little button down on the cheese plate, just, I mean on the um, metal case to make sure it goes in all the way. 
Um, when you're mounting the cold shoe mount, you want to kind of sit it back. Make sure it's pretty tight. And then when you're putting on this, uh, this dead cat, you want to, I don't know, kind of comb it or cut the loose hairs or whatever it is. And then you want to kind of sit it back in this cold shoe mount just a little bit. So that it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't get inside the, um, the lens of the GoPro or it doesn't pick it up. So I set mine a little bit back. But when I run it through like the harnesses and things that I have on the side, it seems to like kind of elevate it and has it sitting up uh, more upright because this adds a little bit of weight to it. So right now it's kind of aiming down. So I'll go ahead and show you that in a second. <clears throat> I got this in the box that came with this and um, it just mounted directly to the bottom of the cheese plate. I had a hard time kind of twisting it and getting it to line up right. So that's why I don't want to take it off. But um, once you get it situated and set up right, uh, it you know it's, it's pretty sturdy and, and firm and uh, it does the job. Uh, GoPro, get, this gets connected directly here in the USB-C port. You can see it's starting to come together. What I did was I just run the cord down the side. Um, you can get like specific uh, camera ties and different things, but you know, I, I have zip ties. I kind of like to put things together uh, anyway. So I have a lot of like extra tools, tapes, zip ties or whatever. And those things work just fine for me, but they have like specific things that you can use to kind of run the cord down the front and on the side. But the zip ties work just fine for me. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. All right. It does turn into a bit of a monstrosity, but again, uh, when you're looking for that additional um, audio quality, this comes in real handy and works really well. Uh, I didn't even see I had one on my desk. As you can see, that's what it completely looks like. Okay. And you can use the GoPro cable to connect up to this, but I like to use, um, I, I found I have another shorter USB-C cable and so I ended up using that. I probably should have turned the handle over to the other side. Yeah, I should have turned it around, but for some reason I like, for some reason I always have it this way. Make sure that's in there flush. You hit the button on the side, and now it's charging your GoPro. You want to turn your GoPro on. Make sure you take the lens cap off. And there you go, it's charging bit of a monstrosity but again the audio quality on this is really good um, it works as a really good uh, vlogging or you know selfie camera or whatever you want to call it but for me having the ability to capture really good audio at any given moment um, I was something that I just wanted to be prepared for and it was kind of fun tinkering around and trying to build this monstrosity and figuring out what what worked best um, I'll go ahead and list everything that I purchased and how I put this together um, in, the, in the description down below. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'll answer any questions for you. And again, this is something really easy, really fun to put together. Um, I had a good time doing it and it works really well. I, uh, you know, I feel like I can take it anywhere and just do about anything with it. If it's not sports or action related, if it's something that, you know, where we're, you know, zip lining or something i probably wouldn't take this with me but uh, for everything else maybe a kid's birthday party or something where i want to capture audio or ask questions or you know in any type of interview type of situation this this works really well you can buy other accessories like other uh cold shoe mounts that you can put on the side 
and then you can mount uh, lighting to it if you want. Uh, there's there's a lot of different options that you can do with this particular metal case. And so this metal case and this cheese board has really extended the abilities of you know what your GoPro can do. And yeah, it, uh, it, the GoPro is already expensive, uh, and now you're adding all these different things to it. But I mean. Uh, it's it's fun you know it, it's a hobby that's what we do well if you guys have any questions please let me know this is m west thanks for checking in with me uh and i'm out peace